probably a after I finish, after we watch this and we talk some more, and if there's nothing else I want to pick up and watch, I will uh, switch over to the Cat Boy and play Warframe. Okay, that that that's the plan for today's long stream. Okay, so, um, but for now, for now, we're gonna be doing uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, this. So let's uh, let's make sure everything is squared away. Yeah, I I, I don't see anyone else coming. Like it's it's fucking one a.m. So let's let's just watch this video and uh, stop it a billion times to comment. Welcome to the road to Skyblivion. Now that we have a goal set in place, I gotta say that's that's a good voice they got. That that that's a good voice they got for sure. We'd like to break down where we are at and where we need to travel to get there. Mm -hmm. In this video, we aim to show you exactly what has been completed and what still remains in order to, to make our release goal of 2025. I am a okay with LODs, by the way. There are a lot of people out there who just uh, can't, um, uh, like, they, they they complain about LODs or whatever. Like, it's it's great. It's great. Like, I'm just, uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, interesting. You you uh, your question was actually answered earlier, in the sense that it it wasn't answered, <laughs> but but it was discussed. Now then, let's get going. Should you feel you have the skills needed to help us achieve that goal? Mm -hmm. We are always looking for new volunteers. Now, it's important to understand that for the most part, like um, people come in a lot. A lot of idea people want to come in and help, but uh, mostly, I think, I think if I remember correctly, they need three D modelers and uh, like landscape d designers. You know, stuff stuff like that. They, they need people who can do like landscapes well, and they need people who can do three D models well. If I remember correctly? Yes. Uh, my goodness. Uh-huh. The world spaces. Yes. Our landscaping and level design serves as the canvas for players to paint their own stories. So we strive to craft- Hey, we did this in Oblivion. Hold on, hold on. Serves as the canvas hold on, hold on, for hold on. players- Yeah, we were here in Oblivion before, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm hmm. Uh, that's neat. All right. <clears throat> to paint their own stories. So we strive to craft as attractive a world space as possible. Mm -hmm. Though significant strides have been made on various regions. Yeah, this looks a lot sharper than Oblivion. I don't mean uh, in terms of like the anti aliasing or whatever. I'm talking about specifically like the level design. It, it looks like it, it captures the spirit of skin grad but it is uh it's a lot more ornate now it's interesting because in um um in what what do you call it um um okay so in the demon souls remaster they inappropriately added ornate details to a particular castle, showing that the developers of the remaster didn't understand the the spirit of the original, right? And um, like th that that kind of opulence that they added to uh, in in the Demon Souls remaster didn't belong in the locations it was put in. They put it in because it looked cool, but it. Like the people who who made the Demon Souls remaster fundamentally did not understand the spirit of what this place was supposed to be, um, you know what kind of care was taken into crafting it. That's why the Demon Souls remaster is a bad remaster. However, this looks in the spirit of what Skingrad was, but with some fine details. In my opinion, anyway, this, this is Skingrad Castle. There's no qu I can look at it and instantly identify it. I know what it is, and so, so uh, but I look at like the fine details here that they've added, and I think yes, that is in line with you know what what the spirit of what Skingrad was originally. This is a remake done properly, in my opinion, or at least so far, based on uh, mere observations. We don't know yet. Like everything I say is 
Um, and, and yeah, just um, everything I say is open to interpretation, and of course, uh, you know, I, revision when we get to the actual uh, final product. Some require more attention, like the grassy West Weald, snowy Valus, and Jer I don't know this. Hold on, I assume this is Quite a more uh, attention. Okay, like this, yeah, th you can tell right here. This is an in development work that makes perfect sense. Uh, have you visited other countries? Um, uh, let me see here. A lot of Mexico, um, Ireland, Scotland, um. That's about it, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. I've got family in Ireland, Scotland, and um, I have uh, I ha I have a lot of business in Mexico, so yeah. Uh, Baja California specifically is where I where I went, which is you know like when you go to California, it's a quick trip, easy peasy, just just right down to the border. I took a cruise to Baja California once as well. But, um, yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever been to Canada, believe it or not. Anyway. Um, yeah, so obviously this is in development. You can see, like, parts that aren't quite placed yet. But, um, yeah. I I think this is a little too saturated for, for like, Skyrim. It's, it's it, it, Skyrim comes off awkward when you saturate the shots a little too much. But, yeah. I moved from California. I um I'm glad I have left. Who like that? My goodness. West Weald, snowy Valus and Gerald Mountains, and Nibbane's lakes and forests. Okay, the Gerald Mountains are just Skyrim, obviously. But um yeah. Uh you're asking how do you level up uh, if you don't sleep? The answer is uh Oblivion XP mod. You click the level up button when your EXP is full. Uh, the rocks don't make it look natural. I mean, yeah, this looks like a Fortnite map, honestly, right now. Um, like, skin grad looked amazing, but um, I, I think that a uh, little bit of coloring, uh, like, uh, sorry, a, li a li little bit duller, or like, uh, this bright sun does not do it favors. That's, that's my problem. Like, um, if, I think in, in a little bit of different lighting, I wouldn't have said what I just said. But I did say what I said because of the lighting. See what I'm saying? The grass is non-existent. This is true. But um, yeah, it, it's mostly just the the, the lighting is wrong, and, and that that's it. Yep. The levitating soul. Yeah, it's not finished. That that's that's for sure. But uh, I'd be looking forward to seeing what kind of gameplay could be executed in this area, regardless. Um, one of the rocks looks like a. Uh, uh the a special object well i mean um hold on a second so are you talking about by chance uh, when, when we talk about um when, when we talk about images okay like uh like optical illusions right we talk about stuff like this right i mean these these are examples of optical illusion generating uh pictures I, they are at the end of the day just optical illusions, but um, when you unfocus and, and refocus, uh, things get a little off when it comes to uh, certain uh, uh, certain pictures. So, uh, like like th like this one, for example, this one can be like especially bad if you're not looking at it, right? Uh, like uh, yeah, that that one. Uh, if, if it's if it's like small and far away, that one. Um, he said the second one was a Nintendo DS case. Yeah, like uh, it's uh, it, it's a Nintendo DS case with the strap. Yes, is uh, um, that that's it. It was uh, it, it was literally a here. Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up again. You can see it's just it's just a strap. Like it's an it's a Nintendo DS case. That's it. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But but yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Remastered Skyrim, uh-oh. Field, snowy Valus and Geral Mountains, and Nibane's lakes and forests. Yes. <laughs> By doing so, we aim to make the world more... I mean, yeah, like, uh, at the end of the day, Nibane's Oblivion is more forests. cartoony, right? By doing so. And that's us great. The problem is Skyrim's assets are going to be much higher. Um resolution and so you're going to get this weird contrast between the high resolution and yeah i think it's fine in cities i think that uh the lighting doesn't do any favors right now in the open world space but um like i'm looking forward to playing through this because i've seen the changes they make and i'm excited for them specifically when i say i've seen the changes i've uh i've watched their live streams i've watched them build some of these really cool locations yep so we aim to make the world more captivating to explore mm -hmm. and enhance the visual storytelling aspects for which the Elder yeah. Scrolls series is so beloved. The land of Cyrodiil is divided into nine different regions. Mm -hmm. We start off with the Gold Coast. Yes. The Gold Coast. Which recently had all 526 cells landscaped. Cool. The Colovian Highlands has all 422 cells landscaped. Mm -hmm. The Fall Forest and Heartlands region has all 405 cells landscaped. The Great Forest, with its 460 cells, has been fully landscaped in record time. Right. The Geral and Valus Mountains, with 517 cells, has also been fully mm -hmm. landscaped. And the Swamps of Blackwood have all 803 cells completed. I've, I've watched them make Blackwood, like... It, yeah, it's it's swamp like they uh they they they've managed to do swamp in in Skyrim like and not just the silly uh south of um uh south of solitude swamp but something that actually looks um appropriate to swampland doesn't look like it's on the verge of freezing over. Currently, the West Weald is the least polished area, sitting at forty three out of two hundred and eighty four cells. Or around honestly honestly the west wield is the most uncanny location what i mean by that is even in oblivion it doesn't look incredibly well done like it it looks like cartoony it, remember when i said that the like one of the shots kind of looked like a fortnite map well the west wield in elder scrolls 4 does look that way in a lot of locations it is not incredibly well done compared to the other areas. 15%. The Nibane Basin also needs work, with 300 out of... So yeah, the uh, Nibane Basin is... Um, like It's basically just outside the swamps. ...of the 674 yep. cells completed. And the nearby Nibane Valley similarly sits at around 50% completion with 155 out of 300 cells finished. So they'll need uh, landscapers, pe people who are good at uh, open world landscape to actually work on this. That's why they uh, they asked in the beginning for uh, volunteers. It's because, I mean, look, they've, they've done most of it, but there's still a good chunk left, and they have little time to do it in as a hobby. A hobby. That's the important thing. The Sky Oblivion world map has a total of 4,391 cells, of which we have completed 3,600 and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the parts that they need to work on, specifically the West Weald, are, like, they're uncanny to look at even in Elder Scrolls IV, so they've got their work ahead of them. Like, it, they're going to have to translate that into Skyrim's visual style, and as you can see, it's hit and miss. Don't don't get me wrong. Again, I'm excited for the project, but I'm not going to lie to you and say it looks great. All of it looks great. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm instead going to lie to myself and tell me say that I don't I won't care when I look at it. You know, being finished. Uh oh. <laughs> and, and again, I I don't I don't think that's due to any um any actual like failings on the the Sky Oblivion team. I think that it's just an issue with 
translating the, uh, the the style of one game to another, right? The assets of, uh, or the, not the assets, but the uh, the level design of one game to another. I think that cities are going to look great. I think that, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I, I think that uh, some of the, you know, like the more grungy areas are going to look great. I think the dungeons are going to look great. But um, yeah, I'm 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 not I'm not too uh, keen on their like the the open uh, like what what they've shown as far as like what what looks ultimately like Fortnite maps, and uh, it, it's again it, I don't think it's anyone's fault on the development team. I think it's just putting Oblivion into Skyrim that's causing that problem. Thirty two or eighty two point seven percent. Beyond the borders of Cyrodiil, and even Nern itself, lie 40 unique world spaces. Mm -hmm. From hostile oblivion realms, to painted worlds, dreams, and alternate realities ruled by Daedric princes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Woo-wee. This is one of my main criticisms. Not main criticisms. This is one of my criticisms of oblivion is that uh, Periite's realm didn't look like like a pestilent realm it was just a copy of um um what do you call it it was just a copy of um like the deadlands right so th they're actually they stylized it to be periite instead of just um it just like yeah just deadlands again it's all oblivion all oblivion is hell you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's great. That's great. I'm glad they did that. I'm gonna back up again real quick. Whoops, I, I went to intro because I'm stupid. All right, let's see here. Where the hell were we? Uh, there. Yes, I found it. Okay, let's back up one more time. Itself lie 40 unique world spaces. Right. From hostile oblivion. So yeah, this is the Deadlands, and it definitely looks uh, a little more ashy than it did before i assume that's because we can't see the lava right now but um yeah it, it how do i put this there was a fresh baked crispiness to the um uh to the oblivion version that i don't see here this is uh this is a bit um this is a bit um baked like past tense as opposed to baking in realms to painted worlds dream yeah painted worlds good the the dream world uh was just like a, a layer off of like just uh just, just like a film over the screen and alternate realities ruled by i i am excited that they're changing the alternate worlds though because like that they used to just be copies of the deadlands in elder scrolls 4 daedric princes so far we've completed 11 worlds is this the paradise? Huh. That looks a lot more in line with what you'd expect a paradise to be. ...spaces, with most of the remaining 29 being Oblivion Realms, which we're saving for last. Our plan is to use all the knowledge and skills we've gained over the years to make these realms a truly memorable part of the gaming experience. Yeah, when you said Dreamworld, initially I was reading that as that guy who said... Um, uh, it, it, well, ahem. she left me. <laughs> you know, you know the guy who did the Kickstarter, who who uh, who said we're 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 gonna put, develop our passion to make an MMO where anything's possible, and where where you can you know do anything from you know this to that, from that to that, and it showed a bunch of Unity tech demo stuff, or sorry, Unreal Engine tech demo stuff. It was really silly. Yeah, yeah. When you said Dream World, that's that's what came to mind. Is the guy who said she left me. <laughs> that's what came to mind. Oh, jeez. Anyway, this other guy made Nightmare World, which um, uh, was basically a reimplementation of uh, Dream World, but done correctly, and in a fraction of the time. Yes. Um. Yep. The Kickstarter video was my wife left me, so I uh, I'm making the best game ever as revenge. <laughs> no, it's it's funny because she actually came. It it was and um, 
uh, she actually like posted her own video talking about how he he basically lied to her, uh, gave her a fake um, g gave her a fake diamond, and, and stuff like that, uh, and, like for the engagement ring and, and shit. And, and no, no, it, it, like they had they had just uh, they 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 hadn't gotten married yet. There there was like a fiance or something, but uh, she found out um, that like the diamond was fake and and all of this stuff. And uh, let's just be honest here. That that's a surefire way to get people uh, to not uh, sympathize with you. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she she was um, she had her own like modeling career and shit. She didn't need him. So the fact that he was a um, you know a, a bad person, um, she was right to leave him. It's that simple. It, he could at the very least have, you know, come clean and told her, look, I can't, I can't afford a diamond, you know, and, and maybe they could have worked through it as, you know, an actual couple, you know, like, but uh, no, 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 uh, ra rather than bringing, um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, he was a scumbag and she was a, a model who had a successful career. She was the breadwinner and he was a nobody, basically. My goodness. Okay. And, and what I'm trying to say is like cup, uh, like non-traditional couples. What I mean by that is like where or the man isn't bringing in money. That that that's that's pot. That, that can work. That can absolutely work. Um. However, uh, it requires open communication, and both sides have to set proper expectations and if you lie to somebody they can't set proper expectations because they are on a completely different um a completely different um uh wavelength like it you said uh, he's in the dungeon oh no doubt no doubt but um yeah it's 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 really fucked because um like th yeah that that guy um he lied to his fiance. She found out about it and she left him. And uh, that, but he played that for, um, he played that for some kind of pity points when he started the dream world, um, like Kickstarter. And the, the fact that that thing got made is an insult to all that, that is, uh, <laughs> all that is right in the world. Because again, this other guy, uh, Callum Upton, I believe his name was went and remade his project in, uh, except did it right and and made a fully functional MMO using all of the ingredients he did you know the the unity assets that he did based uh, sorry uh, it was it was crazy all right let's see here uh b -b 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 am I on vacation uh no 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 my goodness um you subscribe to my channel because uh I, I did Oblivion modding. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing more Oblivion modding for sure soon. But um, yes, I hope I hit 100k soon. Well, currently I'm I'm going I'm I'm purging people who don't want to see live streams, which it's it's going to happen. Uh, but that that is a okay. As for um, as for being big time, I think that would make me miserable, <laughs> to to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I I appreciate uh, your um. I've I, I found the word your enthusiasm and your support like the support is especially the important thing he said the stereotypes men grow up with make it hardest for us to cope with not being in uh, charge of a relationship yes the, the, I'm not gonna lie like for the first couple months of like marriage there, there, were, there were some arguments and we, we got over it and you know we oh, like the point is to be open and, and have communication, right? And I've been married for over a decade now, so, you know, obviously, uh, we, we did something right. So, that, that that's what I'm saying. Mm. Anyway, uh, the, I, I keep saying communication, communication. It's the most important thing. Yes. My goodness. It never grows. Cor correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's because I purge as many people as I get. And that's fine. Like, it, it, I, I think I would be horribly miserable if I was like PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, you know, that, that kind of thing. <laughs> but.
but um, yeah, we're currently exchanging uh, subscribers. We're getting new subscribers from the streams, and we're purging old subscribers from the um, who like aren't interested in the streams. And so it's, it's kind of weird how it's like uh, you know it's overall trending downward, but like at a, a microscopic pace. So it's very interesting to to look at the analytics and go. Okay, that makes sense. Also, I imagine some people are fucking terrified of the fact that they come into the stream and then there's a cat boy and they don't know what the fuck is going on. Of course, they look at it and they say, "It's an anime girl." You know, but but don't 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 tell anyone about this. This is a secret from everybody. Okay. As I was saying, what we'll do, we'll do Warframe later. Now, uh let's see here. What was I saying? Yes. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Yes, absolutely. F feel free. Feel free to check out uh, past live streams. Um, uh, no, no, no big deal. There you go. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be doing Warframe. I'll be, I'll be kicking back and relaxing later. And the, the best way to relax is using the avatar, because then I can like sit on the couch and not the studio. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. People are like, it's a girl. You'd be surprised. I've had, uh, I've had like five or six people go, um, "Are you trans?" Like, no. Look, uh, here, I'll ruin your day. Go look up femboys. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let, let's go continue this. Uh, yes, uh, we said like real RPG, proc gen world. Yeah, we we'll see more of those video types. Uh, I've got five videos down the pipe, and probably two of them. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll meet your, um, uh, your, your, um, uh, uh, it'll probably be about that, uh, similar, similar. Hold on. My goodness. Uh, 2015, jeez. I, I remember, um, here, hold on. Let, let's go. Yeah, uh, let's go pull up the original, like, the first video I put up on the channel. I put up the Team Fortress 1 introduction video. Here you go. Yes. I can't play the music because it's copyrighted. But uh, this is the original Team Fortress. Uh, before Te Team Fortress Classic is a remake, right? And so um, th this is the uh, thingamabobber. So uh, you, you can see right here, like, th this is the, these are the original, that's the demo man. He drops a debt pack. De it, de God, the fact demo men don't have debt packs anymore is nuts. Like and, and the, like nail grenades, all those things that they they've lost over time. That's crazy. Uh, but but yeah yeah yeah. So um, it's nuts. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to replaying Arena at some point. You see, debt debt packs are just freaking amazing. But um, and then of course it ends with a sniper. Yep. There you go. So it looks more to Quake. That's because it is Quake. Quake is open sourced, man. <laughs> they, they, uh, everything was made in Quake when Quake was uh, new. Yes. That, that's right. Okay. Anyway, that, that, that video is tiny. It only has like uh, uh, one point, sorry. Uh, yeah, 14 years ago, 1.7 million views right there. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that's closed. Close that up. Yes. My goodness. All right. Let me see here. My goodness. What's my opinion on Starfield? My goodness. Uh, Starfield looks to be, um, Fallout 4 meets No Man's Sky on the ground. And then Elite Dangerous for Normies in Space. And, uh, if, uh, the only part of it that made me feel that special tingly feeling was um the shipbuilding because it was like it was dumbed down from space engineers but it's also better than the gummy ship from kingdom hearts meaning it's in a sweet spot where i where i like it and uh <laughs> that's the best way to put it is the shipbuilding looks really good so um todd howard talked about the connective tissue between stuff so i'm, I'm more confident on that i think it's going to be a good like 40 to 80 hour experience uh, for me, me playing it. I mean, I, I think it'll be, I think it'll be just adequately satisfactory. A, a pretty good game. A, 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 
a pretty good game. Yes. <laughs> now, someone asked to see my wallpaper. Uh, my current wallpaper is Princess Peach from uh, Super Mario Brothers. Yes. That, that is the current wallpaper. Absolutely. Now, uh, let's see here. Right. No Man's Sky with Bethesda character. I mean, I've, sp I've spent hundreds of hours on No Man's Sky. I'm obviously going to play that. Yes. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, some people are under the impression that I only have wallpapers of femboys, but that's that's not true. That that's that's not true. Uh, that that's a dirty lie. All right, let's see here. Uh, what do we got? Let's you, you play the tutorial, Galactic Imperial Survival, overwhelmed by the game. Yeah, like all I'm saying is like I, I don't think that um. I, I personally don't think that um, Starfield looks like the best thing since sliced bread. But remember, I play a lot of uh, what you call it, uh, spacey games. What with my my, my I, I wiggle my my uh, stick around here. You can see that there you go. So um, that's very important. Now, um, like those type of games, like they, obviously this is going to be a dumbed down version of all of those. Like it's it's going to be simplified. It's going to be, at the end of the day, appealing to more people. Um, you, you said you, you like uh, Rosalina more. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, so let me pull up the thing. Here's what sold me on the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, on the new Mario game, right? The, 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 this this is what sold me on the newest Mario game that they announced right here. That that That's all I needed to see. And I knew I was gonna go. I knew I was gonna purchase it, right, right then and there. It's a 2D side-scrolling platformer Mario, but then you can have a team, a co-op team, of uh, <laughs> of Peach and Daisy at the same time, and that's that's fucking amazing, right there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. So. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, it, it's just um, uh, let's get back to this. They're still talking about the world map. I have not played Star Sector. No, uh, kept up with Fallout seventy six. Fallout seventy six has never functionally gotten better. It has always stayed wasteland hobo simulator. It's just it has new areas. That's it. Just as new areas. So. Um, that that's basically it. Why no sleep? T tell that to um, tell tell that to yourself when you close your eyes, and then you open them again later, and you look at the clock, and it's like five minutes later, but you feel like it's been twenty minutes, and then you close your eyes again, and, and then you open them again, and you know it, again it's been another couple minutes. <laughs> there there you go. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, do, 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 do. now then, my goodness. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, sometimes I will just fall asleep for like 12 hours if, you know, I, I obviously have to set alarms because meetings happen. Uh, but yeah, um, for the most part, like, uh, what can happen is someday I can oversleep and then the next day it's um not so great because then I'm, you know, waking up again. Let me see here. Hold on. Still looking. Um, I don't even play Fallout 76 and they could play my Fallout 4. Well, I mean, you wouldn't play you wouldn't play Fallout 76 alone, right? You'd do it with friends. You'd uh, you'd, you'd, you'd go explore and and shoot the the monsters and and let's be honest here, Fallout 4 can get kind of boring it with the same old, same old. Um, whereas you can do Wasteland Hobo Simulator in a new area. Keep that in mind. Yes. Um, I have friends, it's just that they don't always play the games I want them to play. And my powers of persuasion are like, like 
out of on a scale of a hundred. So I I cannot convince anybody um in real life to play a game they don't want to play at the moment. That it's it's just not gonna work. So um you know while I I do have a, a like a full raid for Final Fantasy uh a fourteen. Good good luck if they want to play Path of Exile at the time. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's the problem. So it, it's only when the when the stars align and we all want to play the same thing do do we get uh, the fun. You know what I mean. Uh, other otherwise it's just me soloing shit. Anyway, let's see here. Do, do, do. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, for example, I was carried through uh, several of the big grades, in, or should I say trials, in uh, Elder Scrolls Online. So I, I've experienced them. It's just, um, you know, now those people have all quit the game permanently. So it's like, you know, people say, well, you should come back to ESO. It's like, um, I'm not I'm not enthused with the story. Like ESO story no longer interests me. I've I've I made the mistake of going to play SW Tour and that is a character driven story game. When you come back to ESO, oh boy, that that is a miserable experience uh by comparison. So like if, if, if playing ESO for the story, <laughs> Uh, don't, don't, all I can say is if, if you are into the ESO story, don't play better games. They will ruin the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the lackluster experience. Um, oh boy. So, um, because I can't really play ESO for the story anymore, um, I have to like go, I have to play it for the, the multiplayer, right? And if I want to play it for the multiplayer, my my friends have already moved on and they're they're playing other games. Like that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yes, Final Fantasy fourteen ruined the story for. I mean, yeah. I like I I try to I try to remind myself that the story isn't all good in Final Fantasy fourteen, but even when it is not so good, it's still compelling in a way. And now my wife and I play Final Fantasy fourteen together. She's a cat girl. I'm a cat boy. She wears like more conservative outfits. I wear the like the fluffy dresses, um, you know, shit like that. Um, let me see. I don't know about WoW story anymore. I'm sorry. I've I've di I've di I have disenfranchised myself from modern Blizzard, like period. I I'm 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 basically done with modern Blizzard. No Diablo four. No more modern World of Warcraft. I am done. I, I'll, I'll go back and play old Blizzard games. You know, the not always online ones. I absolutely old blizzard games are fun but um modern blizzard i'm just uh, like i don't need to give bobby Kotick another yacht you know what i mean I, I don't need to i don't need to contribute to his next yacht yes so um but yeah th that's um let me see who did the voice acting for jaeger Thorn arena i want to know that i like i guess ted peterson or uh J uh, Julian Jensen would be one of the people to ask since they're like present on the internet. Yeah. Probably. Um, let me see here. All right. Uh, the Diablo 2 remit. Okay. Diablo 2 Resurrection has a problem. Uh, you don't think he has a t shirt? Hold on. Hold on. I got uh, I got the Proto Man, Proto Man. There, there, there's a T-shirt. This is like a 4X though, so um, it's it's like a nightgown. Like all, all my T-shirts are big for um for wearing while while I'm in bed, in case I need to get up. Yeah. Um. That that that's basically what my T-shirts are for. Yeah. I have this one because I'm gonna be honest with you. I was uh, I was wearing it during one of my Catboy streams. Not not even joking, like seriously. They, they, like pe people ask like, "What are you wearing?" Like, yeah, like one of my Catboy streams, I was wearing this shirt. Seriously. And that that's the great thing about the um, uh, that's the great thing about like the model 
the the model in general lets me just kind of you know like you don't know what i'm fucking doing <laughs> i could be doing anything uh oh uh but but yeah yeah for the most part it's just i want to relax and i want to not necessarily have to have bright lights on and i, I maybe want to uh sit on the couch instead of this little gamer chair my goodness all right yeah I, i'm i'm not I'm not going to say that line. I think anyone can infer what you just said, but I'm not I'm not going to say that myself. That Ooh, no. No. Like you you you, you No. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh let's see here. Uh buh, 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 buh. is there a reason why Bethesda was um in the dirt when Marwin came out? Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. That that's it. Mar Marwind, uh, like, uh, not Ted Peterson. Jeez, what's his name? Um, mm, Ken Rolston as creative lead. Uh, but, so Todd Howard is erroneously, um, labeled as game director for these games. He doesn't actually he doesn't actually do the job of director. That's his creative lead. Right now for Starfield, that's Emil Pagliarulo. Right, Emma Pagliarulo, the creative lead, is doing the job of director. Todd Howard does the job of producer, even though he's credited as director. It's really fucking weird how Bethesda, like their job titles, don't necessarily match what they actually do. Okay, but um, for Morrowind, it was Ken Rolston who was basically the the project lead, and there there were a bunch of other really good developers. They they were all pretty competent writers in their own right which is why like the, the most of the quests in in Morrowind feel like they are like great for world building okay uh like they 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 really synergize with the overall like uh world building of Morrowind and um, yes so uh you said the Todd Howard's dream game yeah and and he he's the type of boss who um who comes in uh th th this is according to a no clip interview Todd Howard's the type of boss who comes in every uh, every few days or, or a week or so, and he will um he'll, he'll he'll give some feedback and then leave again. He's not the oh an over the shoulder type of boss. He's not micromanaging everything, right? He he lets the developers do what they want. Emil Pagliarulo, however, is in with the developers all the time, and he is the quote unquote creative lead. So basically, he's there at all times to you know like micromanage shit that's the difference between the two yes my goodness all right let's see you couldn't play eso because you felt like to abandon every other game to make progress mm, I, I mean that that's fair but um i don't know it just depends on how, how you approach it let me see here I, like what is progress at the end of the day in eso like I think we, we asked that question about Final Fantasy XIV before. All right, let me see here. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, bu 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 bum. Yeah, it's super interesting, though, to look at how... Um, um, like, can... Uh, how can they make their story consistent? No, no. Let's see. You think the difference in management style is probably why Todd's messaging on games... Uh, doesn't line up with the final product. That that's part of it. That that is actually part of it. You know, um, this is a, a fact though. Todd Howard did influence like directly. Sky, uh, they influenced Skyrim. Yeah, my my Final Fantasy fourteen su sub has lapsed as well. I I need to resubscribe in order to do the newest content. Uh, anyway, uh, back to back to Todd Howard. So. Uh, what he did in Skyrim is Emil Pagliarulo was was presenting to Todd Howard, explained how the Dark Brotherhood was working, right? And the Dark Brotherhood was almost complete. But uh, Emil said to Todd, and here's where you kill the body double of the Emperor. And then, you know, they go and they destroy your sanctuary and stuff, you know, and that, that that's where it kind of wraps up when you get your new sanctuary. And Todd Howard, uh, like, and this, this is, um, uh, this is actually uh, Emil, uh, said this is what todd howard said he said weak you should kill the real emperor and that's why they tacked on that end quest 
where the Emperor's ship just fucking shows up out of nowhere. Uh, and, um, and now you kill the Emperor. And that's why everything is, like, haphazardly thrown around. It's why, the, like, some, like, there's an NPC that's dead in a different room. And why, like, the NPC's fa internal factions are all messed up. It's because they had to rush to get that ship in the game. Like, at the end of the, at the end of development. Because Todd Howard reviewed it and said, you should kill the real Emperor. See, that, that was a, that, that was a, um, that, that was a Toddism, basically. That, that, like, th there are a handful of those in Skyrim. But for the most part, Todd is hands off. He is, is not, like, he, he's the, he's the producer of the games. So, every once in a while, he'll come in and do an executive, um, make an executive decision like that, for better or worse. Um, but I, I just wanted to give you an actual example, like a, a concrete example of one that he did. And that was the end of the Dark Brotherhood where you kill the Emperor. That's a Toddism. Yep. Let me see here. You think it would be an awful ending if they did it like that? I don't know. I, I think they should have not ended it where they did, but rather, you know, had you start rebuilding it a little bit. I think that, like, Putting the Night Mother into the new, um, into the new sanctuary, and um, he said, "Bring, bring back the VTuba." Uh, so after after we're done talking about this in like five hours or whatever, I will uh, be playing Warframe, and when I'm playing Warframe, we'll be doing it like this, okay? Like Warframe's already up, running in the background, ready to go. So yeah, but uh, for now, for now, we're doing this, okay? I'm not ready to get into relaxation mode right now. I'm 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 ready to, to talk about uh, video games, and so when I'm talking about video games, I'm gonna do it in a more present fashion, I think, for now, and then I'll I'll go uh, I'll go get more comfortable when I'm ready to play games. Let me see here. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> method acting to game development cheese. But yeah. Uh, you miss, uh, what, Skyrim canceled? Yeah, the arena and stuff. Um, you said comfortable equals naked, but I, I already showed everybody what I wore last time. Like, you missed it, but I, I showed everyone what I, what I was wearing the last time I was using the cat boy. Okay? Like, everyone, everyone got to see it. Seriously. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, has, uh, loot always had the feature that tells you to download additional compatibility patch and stuff. It not in the beginning, but uh it very quickly got that. Like it was one of the early features for sure. Um having a constant constant smile. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, um yeah. But then the, but then if I actually smile, watch this. See there there's a bit of a difference between the two. Like uh, and the, the the speaking is different as well. Now, obviously, you can do that, and you can do that, and it's all based on facial expression. So, yeah. Um, let me see here. Anyway, uh, do, 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 do I wear a kilt? Um, I have, I have worn a kilt, and I actually inherited my father's uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, dagger and herb satchel. Seriously. Not even joking. That, that that that's not a joke. That's that's real. All right. Anyway, let's see here. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. I have never participated in the caper toss. No, ne never happened. Uh, uh, no way. Uh-uh. Ain't, ain't doing that shit. Okay. Uh, let, let's let's actually drop here. Are you planning on doing Fallout 4 or TTW in the near future? So Fallout 4 doesn't want to work quite right with my um uh with my setup right now. Like I tried to make it work, but it's uh it it isn't loading certain add-ons correctly. And so I need to like figure out why and try to um, correct it. 
But I, I do suspect that um, either Fallout 4 or TTW is in the near future, um, for sure. Uh, you said Fallout 4 doesn't work ever. I mean, yeah, I know. But I, I want to I wanna do another Horizon Survival. I just don't want to use Windows. That's my main problem. So for those who don't know, for, for those who haven't been in the loop, because I, I stream uh, you know, multiple days a week, Whenever I can get away with it, basically, you know, so some people are ad addicted to alcohol. Uh, other people are addicted to like, you know, um, like video games. Uh, you know, I I'm addicted to all of the above. OK, and that's fine. But um, yeah, there, there's a like a couple days a week I have to disappear to actually get work done. But I work on um, what do you call it? Um, uh, I, I I don't necessarily have a schedule so much as I have deadlines. And as long as I meet my deadlines, I can fuck around all I want. That That's the, the important thing. Now, um, the real thing, uh, so, you know, like, I will disappear for, like, two or three days just randomly. And that that's me making sure I meet my deadlines. Um, other than that, however, I, I'm pretty open to just wasting uh, my life playing games. And uh, that's that's fine. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, let me see. B -b 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 um, still looking. Hold on. Yeah. So Fallout Four. Um, I like Horizon Survival a lot. Seriously, I, I like. I I want to play more Wasteland Hobo Simulator. I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, if it's gonna gonna work uh, out very soon, that that's the problem. Now, um, I I suspect that what's actually gonna happen is I'm going to skip this round of Fallout and I'm gonna play Starfield instead, assuming Starfield works. Again, I need to remind everyone, um, you know, uh, like back when the pandemic just started and we had to shift over to like pure remote, like. Technically, I was always able to do remote. Like, I, I, I never had to show up to get stuff done. It's just some crazy people, like, really insisted on, like, in-office meetings, which is dumb, right? Especially when, um, uh, you know, like, especially when we have Zoom and, and, and things like that. Like, we have a Slack channel. We have Zoom, we have Confluence, we have all these software suites that will do what we need to do. But, um, you know, they wanted to waste money, like renting an office that didn't do anything. Okay. So um, what ended up happening is, uh, yeah, th this this meeting could have been an email. Yes. Anyway, anyway, um, I, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm actually fine with going like twice a year or so to Las Vegas, you know, meeting people like, um, like, Hey, you're the voice over the, the internet. Hey, it's good to meet you. You know, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like, I, I like socializing. Okay. Um, my wife hates it. She's an introvert. She, she, she wants to not, not be seen ever. Um, but, um, I, I'm, I'm very outgoing. So yeah, like, like twice a year, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll like we'll end up having the, like the the meet meet and greets and shit, and that that's cool, that's cool, right? But having them regularly when I could be productive during that time is absolutely fucking nuts. And considering I want to waste huge amounts of my time on video games, the fact that I have to then waste huge amounts of time, um in an in-person meeting that doesn't accomplish anything because it just regurgitates what's already on Confluence and Slack. It, 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 you see what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's nuts in that sense. So, um, uh, it, yes, that's why there's no, you said, okay, someone asked, are you, are we playing destiny two? Yes. As you can see, there's no content here. So yeah, yeah. We're playing destiny two. Uh, that that's a joke, by the way. Destiny has a lot of content. It's just bogged down in horrible monetizations. Um, let me see here. What are you saying? Um, uh, she's uh, fuck. Um, but but yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. After after like we switched to remote, 
Like they gave up the office. There's no more office. Office is gone, right? They n never have to go back. But during a business meeting, I um I ended up um having my computer restart audio magically. Uh good work Windows. It restarted and it started a 20 minute update. It had to like roll back some features from the old update and like re-update, you know. It basically it took 20 minutes. And so I was offline, you know, that like people were waiting for me uh for like 20 minutes. It was like it was infuriating. And so because of that, um I switched over to Linux. And that's why we're on KDE Neon, which is uh my distribution of choice. It's uh and um th this is where I play all my video games. So, um because you know we're on uh, uh, and, and you know the Linux pipeline, right? For first you first you do uh first you start on Linux and before you know it you're a cat boy, right? Like it, it, you're wearing a French made outfit. It, it just ha it had to happen. Like and, and people who used Linux for like 12 years, it's going to happen to them too. It's, it's it, there, there's no question about it. Maybe not maybe not cat boy, maybe just stockings, you know, in real life. Something like that, but Linux will do it to you just, just, just eventually. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the point is that um, that that um, yes, um, it, like there's there's definitely um, uh, d definitely going to happen, right? A anyway, anyway. So um, my goodness, did you start playing Warframe a long time ago? I started playing Warframe back when it was new, and I hated it. And then I, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me see here. Okay. Um, yep, yep. All right, let me see here. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. It is pretty fucking funny. No, uh, it, that's a meme, obviously. Don't take it seriously. Anyway, um... So yeah, yes. As a result, I don't necessarily have Windows. So when I say Fallout 4's plugins don't work properly, it's because um, um, it's because the um, like the script extender kind of misses some of the plugins for whatever reason when running through uh, what's called Proton or the compatibility layer. It's kind of weird. Uh, my goodness. Uh, um, but if you accidentally show your desktop in a meeting and it's thick Princess Peach, um, all of, all of my, um, all of my monitors are covered with windows at the time. So it's very unlikely, but, uh, yeah. Uh, do you think Starfield would be playable for me? Probably. It'd also probably be 30 FPS with like frame rate hitches. So get excited for that. Um... Playable is relative. I've been playing some 24 FPS video games. Retro games, you know? So I don't have a lot of room to talk about what is, is and isn't playable. Um, but yeah, there, there's uh, there's a lot of people who want to defend uh, my, uh, Microsoft, Xbox, uh, Bethesda, whatever. And I, I, just, I just keep reminding... Um, uh, I, yeah, I just, I just keep... Reminding people, like if if you uh, if you would uh, try to shut down criticism because you like like that brand, then you're probably one of these people. Um, you know, you know the Nintendrones, the Sony ponies, the the Xbox fanboys, the Bethesda drones. Like, um, I, I like video games a lot, but um, universal positivity just isn't for me. Sorry, like. To toxic positivity be consume product yes Con consume product xbots yes uh something like that yeah 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 that's uh let me see 24 fps in all games is fine but in 2023 it's just sad yes but remember um uh, we're, we're still kind of um we're still kind of fucked in the sense that like people like myself who've lived through the beginning of gaming think, oh, 20 years ago, that's when everything was pixel art. No, 20 years ago was uh, was Final Fantasy X. As in, 
fucking full 3D cinematic gameplay. Like, uh, oof. Just oof. Let me see here. Mm hmm. Well, uh, communism is, is pretty okay in, uh, in certain situations. The problem is that, um, much like capitalism, it, it doesn't stand in a, um, on its own in, in every situation. Humanity is kind of fucked in the sense that we'll corrupt and destroy any system, unfortunately. Like, that's, that's the big problem is uh we we have the ability to corrupt and destroy any system whether it's good uh, like no matter how good it is we we'll, we'll, we'll fuck with it but we we will we we will wreck it well, whatever whatever if you've read about a utopia in a book and you think this is a pretty good idea i guarantee you we will fuck it up absolutely you know how i know that because i've seen <laughs> i've seen enough evidence you said uh, discussion that takes hours to develop, so you won't engage. Correct, correct. I, I, I'm I, very dismissive of actual discourse on a video gaming stream. I'm mostly memeing. I, I, that, that's, uh, that, that, I'm mostly memeing. Understand that. Like, ve very often when it comes to, like, serious discourse, um, it, it, if it can't be expressed in, you know, like a quick meme, uh, I, I will discard it for the purpose of internet conversation. Don't get me wrong. I'd be happy to sit down in, in real life and, you know, be edumacated, okay? Like, I, I'm not joking about that. Like, I'm, I'm, se I'm serious about, you know, like having a sit down real life conversation and learning about someone's, you know, like perspective. That's, um, I, I'm serious. Like, I, I like being educated on people's points of view. It's just I like doing it in real life. Uh, and I like doing it in, um, not on a video gaming stream. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> not, not on a video gaming stream. Anyway, let me see here. Do, do, do. All right. You have a vault to sell me? I mean, not necessarily a vault, but if you can get me one of those, um, uh, one of those like deep cellars, you know, you know, where you have like a basement and then they make a basement under the basement where it's like a super facility. Um, uh, what did he call it? Uh, yes, yes. He said to get the Pollux, po the po politicos out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's, that's, that's basically what I'm saying is, um, I, I imagine you go to, um, uh, you, you go to, um, like dinner you know at, at like thanksgiving or whatever your big uh holiday is and uh him uh, wait wait uh, uh, and then you have uh you have that that one family member who won't shut up about uh their their ideal utopia uh, you know or, or or the the their political enemies and you think oh boy i can't wait to get away from them you know we give thanks in this holiday to actually get away from these people right <laughs> imagine like so you 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 have a kind of a a family obligation where you sit down but then there's that one guy in your family who'll never shut up you, you know what i mean like yeah 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 i i, I totally I, I get it i totally get it like uh <laughs> oh my goodness um yeah but um all i'm saying is uh that I will make anecdotes that I will not stand behind. That's that's an important under uh, like thing. Okay, I might say something about a particular system, right? But I, I um, you said you were if you were drafted, I would say that I'm too old to be drafted. That, that's what I would say. I I, I would say that uh, um, like, are you gonna give me free LASIK surgery so that I can uh? So, so that I can participate in your in your war, because I, I I I I'm not I'm not effective I'm I I'm not an effective gunner here I'm sorry there's there's a little bit of a problem here. <laughs> oh my goodness, let me see. Yeah, but I was saying is uh it, it's important to understand that if I make an anecdote about a uh, a particular uh, economic or political system that I will not stand by that anecdote, okay? I, I, like, I stand for nothing. 
that, that that's important to understand. That I, I I need you to like fully comprehend that if you if you try to engage me in discourse uh, outside outside of real life. In real life, I will be serious, but um, on the internet, like d no, <laughs> we won't be drafted. Yeah, something like that. No, 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 no. Um, but seriously though, seriously though, like I, I would tell them, uh, hey, I I don't meet the qualifications. I'm overweight to the point where I cannot lose it within the um within the certain amount of time uh, my my vision is terrible so on and so forth so yes yes indeed all right uh, skyrim um I, I don't know what you're talking about i don't i don't know what that that means my goodness yes yes um is shitty vision disqualifier for the draft yes yes it is like Shitty, shitty vision is disqualifier for um, uh, what do you call it um, um, for military service. They they don't want you if you uh, yeah. My goodness, let me see here. Do do. You'll be piloting drones. <laughs> hey, you can barely see the monitor absolutely let, let me see here oh boy hey you're finally awake yeah you said uh who's going to be the end of the civil war like they they don't they're not gonna they're gonna say that a civil war happened they're gonna say that skyrim like separated from the empire and then they're gonna say it was resolved that they, they, they do this all the time they they make sure that no one's choices get invalidated now, someone asked if I play Warframe, and I'm going to tell you right now that that is a fucking lie. I do not play Warframe. There, there is there is no way that you're going to see me playing Warframe at all, okay? Not going to happen. No way. Uh-uh. Don't think so. N never happened. Okay? Good. I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up. Okay? Ne never, never played Warframe, obviously. Okay. So. Let me see here. Ahem. <laughs> I, I started, like, you can actually find the Warframe video. Yes. Um, Trolling, huh? I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's a meme. No, no. Ch check out my YouTube channel. I've got, like, a multi-hour uh, video on Warframe. It's good shit. Seriously, it's it's like it it is it is an introductory for new players. I I've gone to great lengths to make sure that the the confusing shit has been dealt with, you know, in a, in a way that uh, players can understand. Because Warframe is fucking bonkers for a new player, for sure. Uh, you're burned out out of Warframe. Uh, my goodness, yeah. Yep, yep. I I agree. I agree. Um, let me see. The Ebony Warrior will be forgotten about. He's an Easter egg. He's a Red Guard who wants to go to Sovereign Guard. They didn't think it through. All right, let's see here. Uh, the ending of uh, yeah, Warframe is very grindy. It's true. It's absolutely true. I've actually gotten all of the intrinsics for the Daviri Paradox. That's how mu how much uh, of a loser I am. Oh my goodness! Let me see here. My my goodness. Um. But yeah, I, I mastery rank twenty nine forever because I'm too lazy to take the test to get to thirty. <laughs> That's what it is. Um. Yep. Yep. Ba -ba. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, let's see. The Tony Hawk game just released. Jeez. Uh, it, it, hey, you know, uh, there's some really good mods for those Tony Hawk games now that they've been decompiled. Let me see what else we got. Nine Tail Fox Boy coming. It's true. It's true. Um, yeah, so, some people think that I had like a fetish for like cat people or whatever. Um, and, and then they thought I had a fetish for fox people. 
for for various other reasons. Hold on, I gotta I gotta take these like these bottles down here. Hold on. Okay, but uh, you know I I do have. Um, I, I'm gonna show you guys four figures. Okay, four figures. First, there's my Tamamo figure, right? She's a fox. Okay. Then there's my Tamamo figure. She's a fox. Then there's my Tamamo figure. She's a fox. Okay. So obviously the fox tails were, you know, okay, I suppose. However, um, th then here's Barrow Kitir. The way to Zovateno, Barrow Kitir has arrived. I only accept one currency, Oricon ducats. Yes, there you go. So uh, <laughs> obviously the, the answer is that uh, Barrow Kitir is best husbando. Uh, if you pick a Naros Prime, he actually... Um, he actually goes and um, uh, straight up uh, goes, by Azura, by Azura, by Azura, it's the grand champion. No, he's actually like, oh, God King, God King, it's good to see you. Uh, shall we go on an adventure? Uh, literally, you go into a mission with him. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's actually true. If you play as a Naros Prime, Barrow literally goes, God King, God King. Anyway, let's see. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Tony Hawk uh, grinds on power lines. Uh, jeez. You said uh, pronouns in Pokemon? Well, wait. Does Pokemon have that? C can we mix and match? No, no, no. C like, can we mix and match, like, body type and, um, and pronoun in Pokemon? C can we do that? That sounds fun. Like, I, I don't even like Pokemon, but I love, like, um, you, you know, the t twisting normal shit into, you know, not normal shit. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, wh which game did they do that in? Tell me more. Like, oh, no, you can't? Well, then fuck that. Like, yeah, you can in the new Harvest Moon? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Um, like, I I'm on board with... uh. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're you're bullshitting, in other words. Great. <laughs> I love character creation options. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was it? I I don't have pronouns. Yes, you do. They come with the English language. <laughs> uh. <laughs> mm. All right. Let me see here. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Let, let, let's get back to this, shall we? We're, we're gonna... Once a re we're, we're gonna back up, yes. All right. <laughs> huh. it, yes, yes a truly memorable part of the gaming experience yes yes so they're talking Once about the danger crumbs nav mesh okay this is the part we need to know so for those who don't know in in classic morrowind before open mw came around when you had a monster running at you the monster would run at you there was a little bit of code to allow the monster to go left or right okay like Basically, to, to move a little bit to the side. But for the most part, monsters just ran directly at you and get stuck on things. Right? That that was in uh, Daggerfall and Morrowind. Like, monsters would have a tendency to get stuck on things. Now, OpenMW Engine generates a nav mesh in real time. So that it can work. Um, and, um, basically, uh, starting in, like... Oblivion Skyrim, if you shoot an enemy, they will then path around to find you. That's the nav mesh. That's, uh, it's a, um, it's basically a second level of, uh, level design. You have, you have the level design that you can see, and then you have the nav mesh that's invisible, and it allows the NPCs to find their paths. You create, you know, you create open areas where the NPCs know that they're able to travel, and you create, like, 
uh, you know, empty zones where the NPCs can't travel so that they understand how the nav mesh, like they, they understand how to, how to travel around. OpenMW added, like can, can generate a nav mesh on the fly so NPCs can find their way around. They don't get stuck like in vanilla Morrowind. Um, but in um, yeah, NPC routing, exactly. But the nav mesh is uh, what ultimately, when you jump up on a rock, causes an NPTC to suddenly like their eyes will gloss over. You'll hear the the mo like the 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 dial up modem connecting sound, and then they'll immediately turn around and go the other way. Um, that that's the um, uh, that that's the um, the nav mesh t telling them to go to a different location, basically. You know, they're canceling their original movement and then d doing something else when you jump on that rock because they can't pathfind to you because that rock is is na like basically nav meshed in a way that they, you know, like they, they can't get up there. Anyway, so um, that, that's what they're talking about when they say nav mesh. The region is complete. The magic of nav meshing can begin. This process involves adding a navigational mesh to the world map, allowing creatures to roam. Yeah, so if we, we go back... Hold on. Process involves adding. In other navigation. words, they can go in. The, the NPCs know they can go here, but like they will tightly design the nav mesh around this so that the NPCs can go around it, but they won't just run against. Because if there was no nav mesh, they just run against the uh, the log to try to get to you. They wouldn't understand. They would think, oh, like this is all fair game, right? But because of the nav mesh, they know that they have to go around the log. That's basically what what it means. Additional mesh to the world map allowing creatures to roam, battle, and follow you. We're currently around a third of the way through this mammoth task, which means that NPCs and quests are fully functional in those completed parts of the map. Yes, that is true. That is absolutely true. This is a quicker process when tackled on a cell-by-cell -cell basis compared to landscaping. Yeah, you see that? Whoops, hold on. This is a quicker process when tackled on a cell by... Okay, hold on. I sell we're going to hit... A, we're gonna hit we're, okay, there you go. If this nav mesh was, like, generated just like this, the NPC would, like, run against the tree and not know how to get around it. Um, so as a result, like, they... Compared to you can see they, they create nodes and they, they split it off, and now you'll, you'll see you that it goes some around the tree instead of through the tree. Uh, that that's how nav meshing works. Yep, that's it. You thought they developed the program to have an NPC move around without telling them where to go? That's funny. Did you know in Left 4 Dead, all the levels like the, where the zombies climb up things, all of those are quote unquote climb up points. That they're they're flagged in the map. They're, like Left 4 Dead has advanced nav meshing for the zombie horde so that they can get over things that the players can't. Um, all of that, like seeing them climb chain link, chain link fences and stuff, that's all nav meshing. Yep. And the AI director will path them through it. But, uh, yes, yes. My goodness. All right. Their time and are interested in lending a hand. The nav mesh team is always looking for new recruits to help speed things along. Yes, you think you have free will, exactly. I'm I'm driven by the lulls. That that is that is my primary um goal. Some people are like you're a consumer advocate because you talk about the shitty things companies do. It's like, no, I'm a me and my ideas advocate. I just happen to be a um a consumer more than anything else. Um people uh you know, we are all at the end of the day. Um Subject to uh, our surroundings and our passions, uh, reason itself, uh, it, it it reason is and uh, uh, ought to be a, a slave to the passions. I believe that was a, a quote. I, I I read that once. Oh boy, um, and can hold no higher office than to obey them. In other words, what you think is um. Um, if you, uh, what you originally think is, um, you know, factual, what your idea of logic and reason is actually being warped by your passions as an individual, by your emotions. Um, 
the idea is that no one is truly objective and everyone is subject to their own emotions. They, um, my goodness. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, boy. Let's keep going. Now, let's turn to our interiors. We have a whopping 600 interiors. Yes. With 260 completed. I was going to say that uh, the interiors I've seen are much, much better than Vanilla Oblivion. Now, again, like I, I mentioned that the outdoor environments look kind of bad because of the lighting and the, like the saturation. Mostly it's the difference between the Oblivion, like trying to put Oblivion content into Skyrim. It doesn't look right. It looks cartoony. It looks more cartoony than it should, right? And the, the high definition like textures kind of uh, create this weird contrast where it ends up looking like a Fortnite map. And that's not the Sky Oblivion team's fault it's just something that's that's a natural result of putting oblivion like style areas into skyrim's engine it just doesn't look great anyway um the inside of the, like their interiors they're it all look good in my opinion like that compared to their oblivion counterparts i think that the darker areas the you know the dungeons specifically just look great I, all the ones I've seen them building in um, in the uh, in their live streams, like I yeah I said, um, how come Elder Scrolls Six, but Final Fantasy Sixteen? Uh oh. Well, I mean, I don't know about Final Fantasy Sixteen. I've watched a little friend play a little bit of it. Looks like a fun Devil May Cry game. Doesn't look like a whole lot of RPG in it, but that's fine. Um, I won't be playing Final Fantasy Sixteen until it's on PC. Uh, it said Skyrim looks dull. Make it colorful and pretty. Yes. Well, if you make it colorful and pretty, the problem is that again, it starts looking cartoony. The idea is that um, you know the engine isn't necessarily up to the task. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, um, and that that's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's just uh, it's going to create a disconnect within the style, and make it look weird. Uh, but which is again not the team's fault. Like it's not the Sky Oblivion team's fault at all. It's it's just a natural consequence of translating it. You heard that uh, Final Fantasy Sixteen is seventy five percent cutscenes. This is true. This is true. Uh, anyway, I really really like the interiors. That's what or I'm trying to say. Roughly forty percent of the total. Yeah. They are divided into categories, including castles. Unique structures, stables, shops, sewers, mines, inns, homes. Yeah, they're going to need level designers. Holy fuck. Like, anyone who really has messed around with level design in Fallout should... Uh, in Fallout. In, in uh, Bethesda games should probably consider um, giving this a shot. Yes. Forts. Chapels. Caves. Imperial watchtowers and alien ruins. By the way, I I loved the fort design. I watch I watched this guy designing a fort in uh, on Twitch, and um, like one of the Sky Oblivion guys, uh, it, it what he was making was just 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 absolutely way 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 better than the original. Uh, I like Dragon's Dogma one, and Dragon's Dogma two just looks like more of it. So yeah, I I'm interested. Anyway, let's see here. Bo -bo -bo. Of these interior locations, dungeons are by far the most time intensive, accounting for 220 of the total. That's why our focus has been on completing dungeons like caves, forts, and mines first, with 190 either finished or in progress. The Goblin War mechanic is a bit silly. I think that they could probably make that an expansion pack or something. I don't think it should be the focus of the game. I think that they should, uh, you know, work on just finishing this yet. I played Tears of the Kingdom yet. No, no, I'm going to wait for, uh, wait for, uh, wait to get it cheap. Let's put it like that. When my friends are completely done with it, uh, they, they will toss it to me on the cheap or free. Yes. That's what I'm saying. 
I, I'm not really interested in it. Uh, I, like, it's it's an expansion pack, obviously. And uh, it looks like a fun expand. It looks like Gary's mod. It looks like they shoved Gary's mod into Breath of the Wild. Unfortunately, I was not really a big fan of Breath of the Wild until I started modding it. Once I started modding Breath of the Wild, that's when I was like, hell yeah, okay, I can do a full playthrough of this now and, and not get bored, you know? And so I think that ultimately Tears of the Kingdom is going to be the same way. I'll probably end up playing it on Yazoo. Uh, Yuzu, I should say, with uh, mods. Yes. Uh, let, let me pull up my uh, my Breath of the Wild thing. Hold on. So uh, he, here was my, uh, uh, my, my Breath of the Wild Link character. You can see right here. It's, it's perfectly, he's perfectly normal. He's a war veteran, you see. He's survived the 100 years... Uh, to to the modern day crazy shit yeah that that's link yep now that said um uh obviously uh the fact that they then gave link a um he got got on his pc yes yes but i'm i'm not really willing to pirate the game right now so i'm in a situation where i'm looking at tears of the kingdom as like I, I want I I'm I'm gonna buy a physical copy off a friend. So and that's just gonna be it. Um the do anyway. Yeah, so yeah, it's really cool. They got the maid of Hyrule for Link, like in, in Breath of the Wild. So like w once this gets over to Tears of the Kingdom, we, we can start really uh, enjoying ourselves here. Obviously. Uh but but yes, yes. That, that that's definitely gonna be a thing. Absolutely. Anyway, um, yep, that's not Linkle. That's Link. They they backported the uh, the the outfit from Linkle to Link. All right, let me see here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. yes. Okay, okay. Um, my goodness. The remaining 380 interior locations, like houses, shops, and other smaller locations, take a fraction of the time to complete, and are often tackled in larger batches. Mm -hmm. Whether you're interested in working on houses or dungeons, we warmly welcome- Oh, that looks nice. That right there looks pretty as hell. See, like, that's why I'm saying they've nailed their interiors. The, the exteriors are, again, a consequence of uh, a, a lot of different issues but um yeah yeah um it like the the interiors just have been almost universally great let me see recently there's been an oblivion mod that makes Marin dagon able to walk able to walk is he gonna stomp on people He's like, oh no, Marun's Dagon is here. If he, by the way, if you kill Marun's Dagon, he will melt. He he will just melt. In uh, uh, let's see, hold on. Okay, uh, here it was. Let me see. I, I'm I'm pulling it up right now. Hold on. Uh, it should be killing Marun's Dagon. Okay, so. Uh, here we go. Mayrun's Dagon is here. So what he's gonna do is like, May look, we're too late. Mayrun's Dagon is here, and then uh, and and then they kill him, right? And with with Mayrun's razor, obviously, because it has a chance to instantly like get to one shot him. So uh, as you can see, they go back and they kill him. Hold on, you'll you'll see in a second. So so once they kill him. It'll happen. There you go. He's dead. Marin's Dagon is dead. Look at that. He just melts. He just melts all over the place. That's it. Yeah. He he, he just just melts on the spot. Yeah. And, and and this is this video is nine years ago, so it's pre Wilburger. People know, have known about this for ages. Yeah. All right. Right. Mm hmm. So, uh, why are you deleting all your own messages, uh, Roy? That's it's very strange. 
I mean, it's fine. Like, the, no, no record, I suppose, but... My goodness. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Welcome your volunteer application. 3D. Yeah, again, like, I, they really need people, like, landscape and um, uh, area designers, for sure. My goodness. All right. Mm -hmm. Now then. From the threads that make up your character's garments to the lush forest greenery and the yes. birds that soar high above. The birds. By the way, the birds, you shoot them and then they disappear and are replaced with a loot container containing the feathers. It, like you, you, when you, whenever you shoot a bird in in Skyrim, watch they will disappear. It's true. Each 3D object and creature infuses life into Cyrodiil. Mm -hmm. While many object groups are well underway, some areas create a bottleneck for other departments. Yes. For instance, if the architecture set for a city hasn't been remade, the level design team can't advance in rebuilding that area That's in right. game. Furthermore. Without recreating all 2,508 of Oblivion's 3D objects from the ground up, we won't meet the required legal standard to release Sky Oblivion. Our plants. Yes, so uh, I don't know about that whole legal standard thing, but uh, I do know. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I know what they mean. They, they, they use the old assets temporarily, and they have to rebuild them from scratch so that they. Um, they aren't porting uh, mods from one game to another. Yeah. See, what happens is porting, uh, like Bethesda considers it illegal to uh, port assets from one game to another. So whenever you see something where they just do a, like a one-to-one -one lazy port, like a Mario Oblivion, for example. Mario Oblivion is, uh, you aren't allowed to distribute that. Period. Too bad. All right. Okay. Do. Huh. Huh. All right. Let's get going. Some clothes are particularly underdeveloped. Yes, it's a free mod, but you have to understand that you don't actually have the legal right to redistribute a free mod that contains other people's assets right it's it's yeah that's piracy we, 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 they just ignore it um they you know that like everyone ignores it and no one like actually sues each other over it usually usually but it is still technically illegal yes look at cod jeez yeah Call of Duty's been having uh, some tr Honestly, Activision Blizzard just gets worse all the time. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to remember that great meme where... Uh, okay, we're just going to put... Uh, while, while I, I'm going to go look for a meme for a second. So in the meantime, we just have Serana here. Uh, but no, let, let, me, let me look for the, the meme real quick. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. Um. Hmm. No, no, I, I, I don't see it. So, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. No, no, couldn't, couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. So, uh, rock stars about free mo. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, rock star isn't the problem. Rocks the the actual people at Rockstar will tell you that they are happy with mods, right? Um, but then their publisher, Take Two, says, "Fuck you! All all these mods go away." Yeah, that that's the, like the the actual people at Rockstar are generally I say I say this generally good people. Okay, there there there's a there's a bad apple or two, but you can ignore them. It's mostly, um. The publisher take two who are the um the assholes yes unfortunately being the publisher they can speak on behalf of rockstar meaning that um they can sign the the, the document like rockstar at the bottom 
And it's like everyone at Rockstar is going, the fuck? What 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 is this, you know? But it's because they have publishing rights. They they the, they can act on Rockstar's behalf and do things on Rockstar's behalf. It's fucky. It's it's really, really, really fucky. Alright, let's see here. Anyway. A anyway. Uh, they should be happy with mods that uh, keeps people playing their game. Well, Rockstar is actually happy with it because they, they do pseudo live services, right? The issue, you said take two owns Rockstar. Yes, yes, yes. They, they own it, but like the actual public, the actual like developers at Rockstar are generally okay with modding and stuff. It's literally just uh take two who's fucking with everybody. If it was up to the people at Rockstar, you would probably still have your mods. But yeah, so Rockstar um Rockstar doesn't want people to cheat and get money. That that's their like they they need to sell shark cards, obviously. Um but no, no. The the real big issue here, the like the, the huge issue here is that uh, a lot of game companies don't want you to keep playing a game. They they want you to buy it on release. They want you to like it and remember it, but they don't want you to keep playing it, right? They want you to then move on to the next game, the next thing they release. It's why uh, Ashron's Call was shut down so that everyone would go over to Lord of the Rings Online, except they didn't. That's that's the big problem is, yes. My goodness. Uh, said, uh, talk about AAA game devs. No one's talking about AAA games moving forward. Correct. Most of the games I'm excited for are trip uh sorry um what do you call it uh indie games i am like m almost all of the games on my uh, wish list are indie games so you know obviously starfield's an exception because uh, outside of ardenfall no one's doing a bethesda game like bethesda does period yep uh to a production company video games aren't art they're a vehicle for getting consumers cash yeah correct absolutely correct absolutely correct yes um let's see here Ooh, what do we got um peace what's ardenfall hold on so ardenfall is a game on steam which is not out yet but has a playable demo um what is a game like a Bethesda studio a BGS game? There there aren't any. That's what I'm trying to tell you. People are like, Two Worlds 2 is like a Bethesda game. No, it's not. Uh Mountain Blade is like a Bethesda game. No, it's not. Uh Kenshi is like a Bethesda game. No, it's not. N none of the games that are touted by people as being like Bethesda games are actually like Bethesda games. That 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 that's it. So uh, we don't know anything about Avowed. It looks like it's going to be the Outer Worlds, but fantasy. Sorry, they 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 drop their they drop their desire to make Avowed like the Skyrim of Obsidian. They're not doing it. Like they're they're, they're making it's looking more and more like it's going to be like a narrative focused, like um you know more linear game. Avowed, yes, correct. Now, uh, moving on. Ardenfall. Here you go. They, uh, so obviously they are not a um Ardenfall is not like they don't have Bethesda quality art, right? So it's obvi it's obviously an indie game when it comes to like graphics, but it's inspired by Morrowind. It's uh sorry, the world is inspired by Morrowind. The dialogue and factions are inspired by Fallout New Vegas. So uh this is Ardenfall. As I said, nobody is doing a Bethesda game. Uh, no, nobody's doing anything like a Bethesda game other than, and when I say Bethesda, I mean like Bethesda Game Studios, other than Ardenfall. Ardenfall is the only competitor I've seen in the space, and it's not even ready yet. You said it looks scuffed? Of course. It's, they're, they're, they're not doing textures. They're doing stylized graphics. It's an indie game. They're, they're, like, they're like, a, a, like a handful of people. That's the point. For people who look past graphics and want gameplay, 
That's this is who it's for. It's not for people who want AAA quality graphics. Yes. Yep. This is for people who want the gameplay. And of course, you know, tra trailers are fucked, right? So ignore that and just download it now. Like for forget about forget about the trailer and give it a try for yourself. It's a playable demo. Oh boy. Yes, that's the point. Free playable demo. Yes. That that's how you figure out whether you want to buy it or not. There you go. Yes. I linked it in um in chat there. Play it, give it a try. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Anyway, um, the developer uh, gauges interest based on how many people wish list it. So um, they, they would like people to wish list it. Wh whether or not they go on to buy it, that's a whole other matter. It's just uh, that that's how uh, they view people supporting the project is how many people have wish listed it. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, still going down the list here. Okay. Um, nope. See you later, A. Eh? Uh, what else we got? Boom. In Dead Fire, everyone dies. Uh, okay. Um, let me see. Toral. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so many different uh, messages still skimming through them. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's uh, let's continue this, however. Yep. Let's go. My, my point is mainly that, like, no one currently, other than Ardenfall, is even trying to to compete in the Bethesda space. And I'm talking about in terms of gameplay. Not, not talking about in terms of AAA graphics. I'm just talking about in terms of, like, the, the actual gameplay of a Bethesda game. Other than Ardenfall, no one is trying. You see, um, I, I, I like, I, I'm, art style doesn't matter a whole lot to me as long as it's internally consistent, which it is. So, I, I don't care. Uh, let me see here. I, I um, I, uh, how to put this? I lost my hang up over graphical styles when i got over how wind waker was cell shaded at, at that point in time i i just i kind of gave up on giving a shit about uh things not looking as good w wind waker was what ultimately uh broke me out of that cage where i could, couldn't enjoy certain games because of the art style um like w wind waker being a great game kind of just shattered that yep yep the demo is uh tiny correct it, it's uh, it's good my goodness yes um <laughs> the demo is one gigabyte yes yes <laughs> let me see here mm -hmm. i uh, dragon quest 8 is the only dra modern dragon quest i played i i played the like original dragon quest and i played eight basically <laughs> all right let me see here do, do, do. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The most successful Mario under Final Fantasy happens. They're in desperate times. Yep. And uh, again, people don't really. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Wait, it was was Dragon Quest Eight the one where the princess was the horse? That, that that's the one I played. That that was the the only one I played outside of uh, outside of the original. Yeah, it it was the one where the yeah okay good good I just want to make sure we're on the right page because there's there's a lot of them you know like when when you count spinoffs, uh, there's a lot of Dragon Quest games yeah. Okay, let's go.
that to release Sky Oblivion. Our plants and clothes are particularly underdeveloped, and we need extra help in wrapping up this extensive list of assets. Mm -hmm. We have some 615 objects yet to create. Although some could be borrowed from Skyrim, many of them are not suitable for integration into Sky Oblivion. So there remains a long list of assets to recreate from mm -hmm. scratch. Yes. Our 3D team is chugging away. So if you've got experience in Blender and you think you can make good 3D assets, you should probably consider lending them uh, your assistance, basically, and making this go a bit faster. But, we always... but of course, you should definitely add those assets to your portfolio because, you know, my goodness. Please welcome new artists to lend a hand, mm -hmm. even in the final stages of development. Quests. In Sky Oblivion, players can create their own story and make a name for themselves by embarking on the 199 quests available. Out yep. of these quests, 97 are currently playable. I was going to say that, okay, they're bottlenecked right now. They're, they're bottlenecked. Okay, they can't actually make more quests right now. Will be playable to the public first Sky Winter Sky Oblivion. I'm pretty sure Sky Oblivion. Skywind has a few um hurdles it's gotta go over. But I mean it Skywind, what I've seen of Skywind has been great. And the people I've talked to, you know, are are, are still enthused about it. It's just um Oblivion is closer to Skyrim, if that makes sense. There's less that needs to be uh intuited through through a unique lens. By by that I mean Taking uh, taking uh, Morrowind and putting it into Skyrim means adapting a lot of things. That's uh, what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yep. Let's go. 25 are in progress, and 77 still need to be worked on. I'm telling you right now, they need to finish their areas before they can finish their quests. It's that simple. Like, it, 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 they need area designers um, before they can even start working on a lot of these quests. These quests can be found in various quest lines. Main quests, the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood. Cool, the Dark Brotherhood and Fighters Guild are done. It just means, uh, yeah, the main quest requires you to go all over the place, so you can see why most of it isn't done yet. Side quest. But plus, uh, the Oblivion quest, like the Oblivion gates, are going to be done later. Like the, the Oblivion realms, they're kind of waiting to till the end to to finish up. Why uh, it looked kind of scuffed uh, when when they showed a, a a picture of it? It's because they haven't finished it yet. Let me see here. Quests, Daedra quests, Arena quests, and Master Training quests. Cool. Daedra quests are all done. Gameplay systems. Oblivion is renowned for its unique mechanics, many of which are currently operational and in-game. These include the class system, spellcrafting, spells and magic, underwater combat, so the class system and magic are currently in progress because, let's be honest here, the Oblivion and Skyrim have very different magic systems. Uh, but yeah, underwater combat was um, breaks the game when I try to do it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, spellcrafting, good stuff, good stuff. That that's done. Alchemy, weathers. Disposition and attributes. Disposition. Oh God, Skyrim has like six disposition levels. Hold, hold on a second. Um, uh, let me pull this up. Okay, get ready for the exciting world of Skyrim disposition. The default relationship rank is zero. Acquaintance. The rank can vary between minus four and four. The gold amount is the maximum value of an item you may take from someone at a certain rank without it being considered theft. Note that item value only works on items that belong to that person's faction. 
not items that are owned by that person. Also the item value is only evaluated once. Meaning if you first become a friend, then later become an ally. The item value will remain at 25, not increase to 100. <laughs> this is Skyrim's... Uh, yeah, this is Skyrim's amazing repu uh, disposition system. There we go. <laughs> You're not going to hurt me again, are you? I, I remember that happening in uh, in Skyrim. Like, you're not going to hurt me again, are you? <laughs> no, jeez. Yep, yep. No, no, no. I've definitely seen NPCs uh, like or hate me based on certain, like, criteria. Pretty damn funny. Yep. It's definitely comedic. Additional mechanics may be added in the future. Time will tell. Cyrodiil would never truly immerse the player without Oblivion's iconic music. We are proud to announce that all original tracks have been retained and supplemented with 17 new tracks. Each of the- Oh shit. Okay, so uh, Zeppla is this, um, hold on. She's this uh, Final Fantasy fourteen uh, player. Uh, she likes to she likes to meme bunny characters, and apparently she she used to live in Ukraine. She had to flee, uh, flee when the war started, but after tweeting about Ukraine, her Twitter uh, account has gone under review and her blue check is gone. She she paid she paid for a blue check and they took it away because she tweeted about the place she lived in. That's great. Good good work, Il Elonious Muskrat. I elongated Muskrat, sorry. You're 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 making people really want to pay for your blue checks. That get pe people re re really yeah. So it's exactly. I mean, this is this is going to encourage a lot of people to uh sign on to Twitter Blue. You, you know, uh, like it, literally she talks about the place she lived in and then um no, no. Uh Sorry, the... <laughs> Holy fuck. What is wrong with this? Anyway. Uh, said so Sky Blavian is the eve of mods. There will never be enough help to finish it in what time was promised. Yes. So it's a political space now? I, hey, I, th that's just where she lived, right? Like... She, she was just talking about... Where... <laughs> I I don't fucking know. It's so weird. Like, apparently, like that that keyword will just destroy your your, your Twitter account or something. Tw Twitter was a hell site before Elon took it over, and it's just been getting worse now. Uh, you had push notification on Twitter, uh, with a tweet about him. You don't follow him. Yes, yes. They they actually um. So I disabled all push notifications on on Twitter before I you know got rid of that. I I use the web interface now, but um. Uh yeah, he's 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 fucked. Like, what the hell? He said the free speech platform that that is that. Yeah. Um. No. 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 You have no problem with Elonious Muskrat. <laughs> oh boy you love that yeah what was a twitter exactly exactly no 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 <laughs> like again twitter was a hell site before he took it over and he's just made it better in like two ways and worse in 15 ways it, it's great it's great. No, Twatter was its own individual website called the Antisocial Network, and it got shut down about four years ago. Yes. Um. Elon doesn't run it anymore. Yes. Yeah. It, it, he. <laughs> it, he's he doesn't run the business portion of it anymore. But um. Yeah. I I don't fucking know. Like uh. uh it, Good luck for to that lady being the uh the face of a sinking ship, I guess. Yep. 
My goodness. Hey, like, Elongated Muskrat has done a lot. And, and, like, at the end of the day, his job, his job is to convince other people to spend their money on his projects. That has been his job for a long, long time. He he comes up and he announces the Hyperloop. Here's how you can invest. Please invest. Please invest. That That's what he does. He doesn't actually come up with any of this stuff. Rather, other people come up with the ideas, and he brings the money to the table. He brings the investors in. That's his job. He's he's not like... Um, it, uh, a guy I, I read... Uh, uh, I read his messages. He said, When people told me Elon was a genius at, um, at, at cars, I believed him. I'm sorry, I, I don't know anything about cars, so I believed them. When people told me Elon was a genius at um, at rockets, I didn't know anything about rockets, so I believed him. But when Elon started talking about software engineering, I, uh, I'm a software engineer, and he was saying some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. So my conclusion is, when I hear people say he's, he's a genius at uh, cars and rockets, I should avoid his cars and rockets. That's that. That's literally what um, that 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 was what uh, uh someone I know online said. Yes, <laughs> I saw his messages and that was amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, that person is a hundred percent correct. Yeah, exactly. He he stayed silent because he didn't you know he didn't know anything about cars or rockets. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just like okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the Elon Todd interview? Of course we did. We we, we did that on live stream. Yeah, we, le leather jacket Todd. Now, uh, once Todd has like discarded the leather jacket, he's become a more relatable person. Oddly enough, uh, it, it's very funny how um how, how leather jacket Todd is like the devil. Uh, <laughs> it's it's great. It's great. Let me see here. Hold on, I'm gonna go to pictures. Um, you saw how we met Elon? Yes. What about Starlink? I I don't know anything about Starlink. Sorry. I I I have I have no opinions on Starlink at the moment. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. Said uh, Elon joins a call. Um, uh, wait. And people that actually know what they're talking about. Yep, yep. Push him to say more stupid shit. Oh, no doubt. Uh, all I can think of is John Tron now. But uh, yeah, yeah. Here, here's here's not leather jacket Todd. This is Todd just wearing like a normal, like uh, yeah, just just a, a more normal jacket. You see, this this, this is uh, Todd from the most recent interview. Yeah, we 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 watched that yesterday or whatever. It's true. It's true. But uh, yeah, yeah. Wonder if Todd still likes Elon. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hold on. I need to close that. Okay. I'm gonna check what this is. Okay. That that's the Xbox lady. Uh, this is this is Oblivion. I'm I'm just going through like all the stuff I have pinned to my uh, streaming software because I need to remove it one by one. So give me a second here. Um. Oh yeah. That's my Final Fantasy 14 character. We can we can leave that those two up. We can leave the Oblivion one up and we can leave the uh that one up. What about this one? Uh, that okay. That that's me. Whenever I'm doing a reaction video, so that, that's actually me right now. Okay, because 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 I, I frequently say that reaction videos are the laziest, most piece of shit content you can ever do. Okay, that so this this like this is me right now. Because I'm because I'm watching this video right. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. I, I want to listen to what they have to say. Tracks have been retained and supplemented with 17 new tracks. Each of the nine regions has a unique new track, complemented by three new dungeon exploration themes. Cool. Additionally, the atmospheric music for the Oblivion Realms has been updated for an even more absorbing experience. Right. In regards to DLC, our focus is 100% on Sky Oblivion for now. See, this, again, it, it, it looks kind of, car like, in the areas where it's well lit, it looks very cartoony. In the areas where it's darker, 
it looks well in executed. To DLC. Yeah, look at this. The darker areas look good, but the brighter areas in the distance look cartoony. And I think that's I I don't think that's the problem of any one developer at the at the Sky Oblivion team. I think it's just the um it's just the 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 actual um uh like like the uh, the end result of taking this kind of style and putting it into the Skyrim engine. Yeah. No, all the dungeons weren't made by one guy. It, turn, it turns out the dungeons were made by multiple people and one guy did the finishing for all the dungeons. That is to say, like, he, he skimmed over them and, like, like tweaked some details, fixed some bugs with them. Basically, one guy, uh, like, went over all the dungeons as kind of like a finishing guy. You know, like, to make, make sure everything's working right. Um... It turns out that you know there there were many many different uh, level designers working on the dungeons in Oblivion. It's just that they were all using the same prefab assets, so it's very easy to think that only one person was working on it because they're prefab assets. I know in the past I said that one guy worked on it, but that was that was misinformation. Turns out, um, we we all learn, right? Let's go. Our focus is 100% on Sky Oblivion for mm -hmm. now, in order to release the base game at some point in 2025. Once Sky Oblivion is in your hands, we shall turn our attention to the Shivering Isles and other extra content. Okay, so it won't come with Shivering Isles. That makes perfect sense to me. I, I, I think that's a good idea, actually. We've come a long way since the project began in earnest back in 20... Now, when people are talking about LODs. These are LODs. Get excited. 16. Having yeah, there's a lot of trees. They had the uh, Oblivion runs on speed tree. Oh boy. That's a joke. A tangible release goal is amazing and terrifying all at once. But with your help, we are confident we will meet it. Okay. If you feel you have the skills to help us breathe new life into Cyrodiil, please consider applying at www dot skyblivion dot com forward slash volunteer. I actually do need people who, you know, no level design or three D modeling. They really do. All right. Ba -ba -ba. You said Cyrodiil is a jungle. Well, I mean, metaphorically speaking, this whole project is a jungle. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What started out as a simple side project has evolved into one of the biggest modding projects to date. Despite the massive scope of this project, we are finally seeing the end of the road, and there is still work to be done. We hope this video has given you a better insight into the project, and perhaps has shown how some of you might be able to contribute yourselves. Only with the Elder Scrolls modding community's talents and the support of this fantastic community could we have ever gotten as far as we have? We hope you continue to support us as you have for years. You said uh, horrible design goals, but honestly, everything I've seen, uh, like all of the areas are way better than they were in the vanilla game. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Um, my goodness. Like, um, you said they should have just made something new. I mean,. Part of me thinks that, but I'm not going to say it aloud. Like, I'm only reading it because you said it. Like, that. <laughs> that that's one of those uh, those thoughts that uh, it hits the filter and I go, and, and I go, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I like, the people are passionate, okay? Like, the, the, the people are, are, are legitimately passionate. So I don't want to, I don't want to put down passionate people. But that is a lot of effort for something that will never see a real return. You know what I mean? Outside of people enjoying it. So, like, it is, yeah, it's a pre it's it's a free mod made by volunteers. So what I'm saying is that is a ton of effort putting into um <laughs> put into something that um again won't see any like tangible returns. It's um you know one of those cases where. They they could have put this effort into you know something new, but they didn't. And now I'm going I'm 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 look forward to playing the result, of course. 
But that that is ab yeah, upvotes to them and their sacrifice. That's that's basically what I'm getting at. That's basically what I'm getting at. So uh when you say they should have just made something new, um that 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 hit the 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 filter and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna say that. I I only I only read it now because you know people other people are saying it and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's technically true, but you really shouldn't say it, you know? Um Tamriel Rebuilt. Yeah, Tamriel Rebuilt is great too. I, I agree. I like Tamriel Rebuilt a lot. I like Project Tamriel. It's um yeah, it's it's a gift, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it's it, it's it's great. Like these projects are are delightful. Is it something new like Fallout Frontier? Yeah, Fallout Frontier was something. Yes. Yep, yep. It's uh took comparatively probably more, yes. Exactly. Tamriel rebuilt will outlast Bethesda. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I think that eventually they're going to have to get new members. Uh, eventually, um, Tamriel rebuilt is going to start, um, you know, having people retire. So, uh, but uh, it, it'll either get done or uh, it'll get dead. <laughs> But I, I honestly think Tamriel Rebuilt is uh, glorious. I, I, I use it in almost every Morrowind uh, run I do now. Yes, AI can take over. You wonder why it's taking so long? Fuck, have you seen what they're working on? There is more content in, um, in the city of Ebonheart than there is in, like, all of Oblivion. <laughs> like... <laughs> why is it taking so long that's that's fucking funny right there <laughs> no no seriously sit sit down uh and and do a run through um old ebonheart uh, the, yeah old ebonheart like seriously it's uh yeah 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 oh boy holy shit mm -hmm. oh, let me see here <laughs> yeah yep you feel like being a Tamriel rebuilt dev is being afflicted by a curse. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, old Evan Hart likes to cook your CPU. That's true. You may need to turn down your view distance a little bit. Yeah, that, that's true. People don't like crunch, but are basically asking for it all the time. Yes. And their passion project and development is uh, AMC squad for Duke 3D. I have not seen that. I will tell you something, though. Um, Like... It is fucking amazing looking at the Duke Nukem Forever uh, leak. Because remember that Duke Nukem Forever was a game that was made to a certain point where they had a trailer. And then they abandoned it, right? And after they abandoned it, they then um, they then went and they, um, they, they moved on to uh, like other projects. And then they eventually dissolved the studio completely, right? So, um, like the the current Duke Nukem Forever is not that original Duke Nukem Forever. It is is a completely different project built from scratch. So the shitty one that everyone hates is not actually the real Duke Nukem Forever. Well, what happened is the original Duke Nukem Forever got leaked, source code and all. So people are rebuilding it from uh, from scratch, and there's going to be a new Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> and uh, that that is that is the old old original version. So it's like, oh my god, it's it's incredible, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm uh, I'm looking at that going, ooh la la. That that's something that that I I want to to play. Yeah, holy shit. Did you say Duke Nukem Forever was restarted from scratch four times ago? Yes, but what I'm saying is, uh, like they had actually gotten a mostly finished prototype, like uh, that that had that was like a vertical slice of like all the systems in several like levels, and so that source code leaked and so now people have vertical slice of like the entire game that they're just building off of modding yeah and so it's it's glorious because like duke nukem forever is being built by fans <laughs> uh jeez anyway anyway um do, 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 do. all i know about the new duke nukem forever is that people hated it and that the multiplayer had a capture the babe mode where you literally um carried a lady um like this and then eventually they would um they would try to uh like wiggle free 
and you'd have to give them a smack on the ass to make them calm down, which is, um, let's just say there, 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 there are concerns I have about, uh, that, that game mode for sure. That was, uh, I, I have concerns about that game mode. Let's put it like that. Yes. Hmm. They had a two fort for a uh, two fort DLC map. That's weird. Okay, you played Duke Nukem Forever. It wasn't yeah. Like I didn't play it. I just I saw the trailer. I saw what people said about it, and I watched a match of Capture the Babe. Was not impressed. Yes. All right. Let me see here. Hmm. Okay. This way. And we are excited to share much more. Much more, yes. Oversharing. It's uh, the cornerstone of the internet. Hold on. One more time. Cool. So this is the Talos Plaza district when you come in to the... Uh, when you first walk into uh, the Imperial City. Instead of having like yeah, so there, there, that that's that's a really good design. I like it. You said capture the goblin babe, but I guarantee you, there's a lot of fan art out there of uh, of goblin girls that uh, definitely defies explanation. Of course, at the very least, we didn't uh, do the reverse, which is goblins capturing. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I, I'm sure anyone who's seen uh, what what I'm referring to can can yeah yeah. Bruma looks good. Yeah yeah, Bruma looks great actually. Holy shit, I like it. I like it. Yes, there you go. Uh, absolutely. Yep yep. Um. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. We're going to back up one more step again. Why is that a white run banner? Wait, what? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Chaden Hall. This is in Chaden Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my goodness. Uh, two separate instances of Bruma in it. It's true, but I, I honestly, if I had to pick one, I, I prefer the idea of using Beyond Skyrim as a vehicle to continue your Oblivion run, right? Uh, sorry, sorry, as a vehicle to continue your Skyrim run. It's, it's kind of weird in, in, in the sense that, um, you know, you have a fourth era versus a third era uh, <laughs> Bruma. Oh, boy. Yes. I, I'm sorry, but I uh, my my view of goblins has been completely destroyed by World of Warcraft Cataclysm's Goblin Island, and by the various media, not Goblin Slayer itself, because Goblin Slayer itself is actually pretty tame, but rather the the myriad of media inspired by Goblin Slayer, if you know what I mean. Degeneracy, Coral. Thank you, thank you, Coral. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I, I can't view goblins normally anymore. It's they, they've been they've been wrecked. <laughs> For yes, various media inspired. You got it. Uh, add like three more quotes to that. You know, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. <sighs> A redo of healer is bad. Just bad. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop referencing that. I, I have seen some of it um, with the wife. It was um, definitely an experience. Oh, boy. Let me see here. Let's go. Okay. This cave looks kind of nice. Ah, oh, I don't recognize this. Redo of healer was pornography. <laughs> I'm sorry, but 
That's that's exactly what it was. Uh, chase. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. There's alien ruin there. Oh, nice. They took the giants and just made them ogres. The the giants are now ogres. Oh, this is cool. I like the outfits. I like the outfits indeed. Yes. You can you can you know a lot about a person if they evangelize, redo of healer because um uh because demonetized. Be because um um yeah, yeah. You, you, it it tell it tells you a lot about the person. Put it like that. Um okay. Okay, here we go. Uh this is this is getting silly. Yep. Okay. Fr fr oh, yep, yep, yep. You gotta be lich. Yes. Very good. That's cool. That's cool. You said there's nothing wrong with reusing stuff as long as you when you're doing it for free. There's nothing wrong with reusing stuff in general. People who go, oh, that's the same monster as the previous game can go fuck off because, like, reuse of assets, as long as it's not, uh, as long as it's in the service of doing more, um, is usually good. Uh, let me see. Uh, my goodness. Um, yes, yes. Boy, what do we got here? Can't wait for the Dagon battle. Yep. Elden Ring. Oh, boy. Yep. When I say reuse of assets, I don't mean the same in the same game. I'm talking about like from your previous game, you know. Valve reuses assets in almost every game they make. It's true. It's true. The troll animation does get repetitive. I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, so, all in all, uh, Sky Oblivion, good stuff. Good stuff. Like, uh, I'm looking forward to it. They did not show Manny Marco, as far as I know. But then again, I did not uh, pause at every single flash. And yet, somehow, we're two hours and 30 minutes into a 10-minute video. <laughs> Skywind will probably come out a little longer after that. It's like They, they got a lot of development hurdles to get, get over for Skywind. Because, um, so Skywind is interesting in the, the respect that, um, they, um, they had to, uh, like in Sky Oblivion, almost everything can be translated one to one, like NPC sleep schedules, right? Like, um, you know, like actually going to a particular, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like an NPC escort quest or something like that. NPCs have pathfinding. That's natural. Um, when it comes to Morrowind, Morrowind doesn't have all of Skyrim's mechanics, specifically how it deals with NPCs. And as a result... Um, oh, huh. Let me see here. Well, that explains everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we messed with some stuff. Apparently, I had top chat turned on again because I'm smart. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see here. Um, what about FromSoft? They've been using shit over and over and over? Yes. Yeah. I mean, and, but they've been, in my opinion, pushing the envelope a bit, you know, in different directions. All right, let me see here. Uh, why is Bethesda legally concerned about Skywind, but not Mar Oblivion? Well, I mean, Mar Oblivion isn't downloadable in its, uh, in its finished form anywhere uh, outside of uh, illegal sources. Um, well, let's look up Mar Oblivion. 
Yeah, Mario Oblivion comes from MarioOblivion.com. You notice it's not on the Nexus? Mario Oblivion, Mario Oblivion 0.66 uh, is um, uh, requires you to take like the pack files from the other game. Um, they, they are concerned by it. They, they've shut it down multiple times and people just keep... Uh, you said Mario and NPCs? Hold on a second. Uh, Mario and NPCs. Okay. So Mario and NPCs don't have sleep, like day-night sleep schedules. They they don't have a bunch of other like mechanics that Skyrim NPCs have. So what a lot of Sky uh sorry uh Skywind is going to be is um it's going to be a lot of reimagining like uh, locations to give like to make sure NPCs can you know go to bed or to uh, like during a quest you know like you actually you know quote unquote escort an NPC you know well those NPCs instead of teleporting to their destination will instead travel with you, you know, stuff like that. Like that, there's a lot of reimagining going on regarding uh, quests and how they function so that everything is a little more cinematic. Uh, Skywind is not, uh, both Skywind and Sky Oblivion are not one-to-one, -one, um, like one-to-one uh, -one ports. They are in fact reinterpretations. So areas will look different Areas will have uh, different quests or expanded quests or, you know, like at the end of the day, a lot of things will be modernized and changed. And that's fine. Like the, the idea is revisiting it with what the, the current engine is capable of. Right. And so, again, like all the NPCs will have like day night patterns and shit. So, you know, and, and other things they will, you know, have schedules. So, yeah, yeah. My goodness. Bethesda Lord came out and said Skywind had to, had to make their own assets. Correct. Bethesda does not, uh, never wants you to port assets from one of their games to another. They only want you to use the assets in the, the game it was developed, basically. Otherwise, it's quote-unquote piracy. Yes. They, they, they can use Skyrim assets for a Skyrim mod, but they can't use Morrowind assets for a Skyrim mod. That's what I'm saying. Yes. My goodness. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. yes, they are expanding areas of the game. True. Absolutely true. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it's it's not just making everything in 4K HD. That's correct. They have to really do stuff from scratch. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Bam. Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I can't show that. <laughs> so Richard, someone sent me a thing, and I'm I'm like, I, I was just about to click on the stream, and it's like, no, no, we can't do that. Uh, c can't do that. No, 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 no. Can't can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> the 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 depths of the internet. Am am I right? <laughs> mm. Okay. And I said, what was that? Um, it was Femboy related. Yes. <laughs> Femboy and Fallout New Vegas related. Let's put it like that. Yes. The U-Tubes would not approve. Yes. Okay. Let me see here. I, I, was, I was on the verge of clicking it. And then uh, I was like, no. No, that that's that, the streams can get fucking taken down. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, Kingdom Crumb Delivery, Hungry Hungry Henry's Adventure is still one of the best, um, uh, the, the best uh, me medieval simulators ever. Um, I sure could use a bite to eat. Yes, my goodness. Okay, what else we got? Scrolling down this list. I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, um, yep, yep. What else we got? Hmm. Uh, what background do I have today? Princess Peach. Yes. Pe people always think it's, uh, like people who've been coming around recently have been thinking it's only about femboys, but really it's, uh, it's all about, uh, Different arts, different art, 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 yes. 
Oh boy. The fanboy is just a meme. All right. Let's see. Is it too late for Dagother's voice actor to go after reconstruction? It's never too late. Uh, like, it, it's when... So, the clock starts on copyright infringement. You said it's all, all about... Um, uh, it, yes. Yes. <laughs> you, got, you got it. You got it. Exactly. You, you, it, pe people are figuring it out. Pe people in chat have figured it out. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Now, um, let me see here. He said it's just a meme. Uh, a quote that is about to age very poorly. What was once a meme might become something more, but we're going to deny that for now. Okay, so, um, as I was saying, going back to it, um, uh, go going over to this, uh, what do we got? Okay, so, uh, yes, yes, uh, people have figured out, um, indeed, in chat, uh, what I actually like. Indeed, indeed. Um, now, as far as Dagother's, um, uh, voice acting goes, um, D Dagother, uh, D uh, so the way copyright infringement works is you have a specific amount of time in years by, uh, to go after copyright infringement once you become aware of it, right? However, um, like the, the, the amount of time you have depends on your jurisdiction, okay? Um, let me see here. Um, how did I, oh, geez, hold on. So, anyway, anyway, uh, when he becomes aware of it is when the, the timer starts. Okay. So, um, yeah, w that's when the timer starts. In other words, Dagother's voice actor might not even be aware of the infringement. And you you have to kind of prove that he interacted with it in some way. And that's when the timer starts. So, like, when he said, if he said something publicly, like, I don't approve of these, that's when the timer starts. As, like, this is when he became aware of the infringement, right? And so he has, depending on, again, depending on jurisdiction, depending on where he is, uh, and depending on where the infringement happened, but a bunch of different factors. There is there are a number of years he can wait before suing anybody, but um, he it's within his rights to do so. Just saying. Yep. You cannot copyright a voice. And yet, and yet, you can copyright the um, a specific performance, and if a performance is close enough to be copyright infringement, then uh, it's it's kind of like um, let's let's say for example, let's say for example, that um, I were to make a legally distinct Pac-Man, okay, and that legally distinct Pac-Man goes through a different shaped maze. But it's clearly close enough to Pac-Man that people would get um, uh, confused, right? They, they would get confused between it. If they can prove that it's close enough to confuse consumers between, you know, like, that, that is enough to uh, get someone for copyright infringement. If you believe that they're, they're like, if you can prove that their intention was to mislead consumers into believing that, uh, you know, th this is that it said it's, uh, uh, yes. Copyright law is not prepared for AI stuff. Correct. 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 Um, let me see here. It's a name, not a person. Correct. Let me see here. It's all from a specific performance. Correct. Like a Pac-Man. Waka, 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 waka. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, now, I don't agree with your other statements, but uh, I'm definitely like a Pac-Man. Uh, let me see here. 
We're going to pull up a random Todd Howard face. This is a random Todd Howard face from his most recent interview. All right. Good. good. I'm, I'm glad we've uh, we've established that. Anyway, let's see here. Once legislators figure out how to how generative AI works, they'll request companies to disclose data sets um, and create new type of AI usage tax. That that is that is very likely. That is very likely. All right. Uh, another random Todd Howard picture from the same interview. Okay. There, there you go. Okay. Mm hmm. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's definitely an interview that happened. Are we Todd posting now? Yeah, we're, we're Todd posting while I'm reading chat. Okay. A, a lot has been said. Um, let me see here. You make so much infringement that they cannot discern between the real ones and the fake ones. <laughs> uh jeez. Yeah, that's uh that's a problem, isn't it? Uh let's see. Uh, next uh uh war is uh is Warframe next or uh more videos? That's a very good question. I haven't decided yet. I mean currently I'm just sitting here talking to chat, so I don't know yet. Like 